hello everyone and welcome back today we are gonna continue the last video where we talked about MIMO technology and today we will be discussing the types of MIMO so let's get started the most common types of MIMO are single user MIMO and multi user MIMO let's start with the first one single user MIMO this technology was used in 802.11n or Wi-Fi 4 in single user MIMO, Wi Fi router can only interact with one device at a time. It doesn't mean this technology cannot support multiple devices. It does support, but only one device can communicate with the router at a time. So, if you have multiple devices connected to your router, each of them needed to wait for its turn to communicate with the router. So, where does the problem occur in single user MIMO? when multiple devices try to access the router simultaneously. For example, if one person is uploading a video and another is doing a conference. So in this case, data stream will choke, resulting in latency, buffering and delays. Single user MIMO was okay for regular use and sometimes we didn't even notice our devices waiting for their turn to communicate with our router. So basically this technology was suitable for only one device. But nowadays, more and more devices at home, like smart TVs, smart lights, and even smart refrigerator are connected to the internet. Because of this, congestion and interference can happen that degrade Wi-Fi performance. As more devices need to wait for their turn, wait times get longer and longer. Ultimately, speed suffers. In 2016, 802.11ac or Wi-Fi 5 Wave 2 wireless standard introduced multi-user MIMO as a solution to this problem. What this technology does is to allow a Wi-Fi router to communicate with multiple devices at the same time. Unlike single-user MIMO, devices don't wait for signals that also increases network efficiency. Multi-user MIMO technology works with advanced router that resolves the most important issue of bandwidth. What router does is to divide the available network bandwidth and pushes it equally to the connected devices. For example, if you have multiple devices at home and all are struggling for bandwidth simultaneously. So router breaks up the bandwidth and send it to each device. So by using multi-user MIMO, you would see a significant change in network performance and speed. Particularly if you are working with heavy applications that need more bandwidth, such as playing games or watching movies on Netflix. Now let's get into its technical details. Multi-user MIMO routers come in different variations, such as 2x2, 3x3, 4x4 or 8x8. These digits indicate the number of streams that are created by the router, which means 2x2 has two antennas for two simultaneous streams. 3x3 three three means it has 3 antennas and it is able to connect 3 devices simultaneously. And same goes for 4x4 four four and 8x8. Eight eight. But it doesn't mean you cannot add more devices. For instance, if you are using 4x4 four four router at your home and you want to add 5th device. So what happens in this case? Router divides the stream and share it with additional device. And you know what, with the new technology such as 802.11ax or Wi-Fi 6, router has even more fixed stream for connected devices. Practically speaking, some new Wi-Fi 6 routers even support 12 streams. As you can see, this router is supporting 12 devices, 4 on 2.4 GHz band and 8 on 5 GHz band. Multi-user MIMO takes advantage of multipath and beam forming technique, which I have already explained in my previous video. There is a link in the description. You should watch. Here are some important points to remember. Multi-user MIMO only works in 5 GHz band for Wi-Fi 6. However, Wi-Fi 6 introduced multi-user MIMO for 2.4 GHz band 2. Multi-user MIMO only sports downlink, not uplink. In Wi-Fi 5, however, Wi-Fi 6, it sports both link. Multi-user MIMO only sports four simultaneous streams in Wi-Fi 5. However, in Wi-Fi 6, it sports eight and 12 streams. 
older standards such as 802.11a, b, g and n do not support multi-user MIMO. Ok now here is final thought. If you want to enjoy the uninterrupted highest speed, your router and devices must support multi-user MIMO. Older technology can really put a damper on your fun. Alright so this wraps up today's video. If you like the video please subscribe. 